All right, those go here, guys. It's move-in day in Bethesda, where very soon this newly renovated showstopper will be ready to list and hopefully sell above asking price. That's the goal for the homeowners who hired professional stager Laura Zuckerman of Wild Home Staging to make sure their home looks worthy of the pages of a magazine. People need home staging when they're selling a vacant home, which is actually more common than you would think. Um, and they also need it when they're selling their own home that they live in because most people have too many things, too much furniture, too much decor. You might think a vacant home with huge, expansive open space may be appealing, but Zuckerman would beg to differ. They're hard for buyers to figure out um, what each space is supposed to be used for. You know, is this a den? Is this the dining room? Um, and even if they can figure it out, they don't know if their table for eight is going to fit or if their king bed is going to work in that house. For Zuckerman and her team, staging an empty house is about finding the best furniture and decor to fit the space. But for those who are living in their homes while on the market, it's all about editing or in many cases, purging. In occupied homes, it's mostly taking out. I find that the vast majority of people have enough stuff to stage their home. It's really about taking it out, and a lot of times they'll rent an off-site storage place. Storing your tchotchkes and oversized furniture so your home looks how buyers want to live. And if you're looking to repaint your home, keep in mind... You want to appeal to the broadest group of buyers, so neutral colors works. Everybody's painting their house a very light gray. When it comes to home staging, it's all about the small details that make the potential buyer envision and even aspire to live here. Our goal is really to connect with buyers and make them feel like this is a place that they could see themselves. So if it is the cookbook that they're imagining themselves cooking in this house or in the bedroom, we want to imagine themselves, you know, reading a book before bed or, you know, sipping wine by their fireplace. And in case you're wondering if hiring a home stager is really worth it, you may want to consider this. For example, if a seller puts in $3,000 towards staging their home and they get multiple offers, they might escalate their their sales price $20,000. So that's certainly a wise investment. As for this professional home stager, curiosity got the best of me. So I have to ask, is your home totally staged and beautiful? I have kids in a real life, so let's leave it at that. <laughs> but she and her team are proving to be quite the asset to homeowners who aspire to sell quick and for top dollar. I'm Nancy Yamada for Your Money and Business.